Unfortunately, the situation that we've got here is we've got an old row spacing, we're about to put a break crop in, and so we're having to invest an amount of energy in just to, to do a bit of repair phase. So what we've got behind us here is um, where we've gone through with a couple of passes with the, the rotary hoe, and we've been able to incorporate all that, that green cane trash blanket into the ground, and, and you think, you've done a reasonable job, but we've still got some, some fairly big lumps of soil that, that are massive. You can see the, the, the rotary hose slice through there and had another slice out, out the back, but that soil hasn't, hasn't fractured at all because it's, it is fairly compressed from the harvester traffic. Now have a look at the, at the soil at the bottom here, you can see where the, where the rotary hoe blades have, have been operating. So the next thing to, to try and do a bit of a repair phase is to bring in something like a, 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 a subsoiling ripper. Again, at the end of the day, we'll be doing an, an amount of, of remedying the situation here, but realistically, um, if we could keep traffic off of the beds, the gro crop growing area, and just let the plant roots go through and work through the soil, would achieve a lot more than what we ever can with uh, something like a, a, a ripper. We invest an awful lot of time and energy into it. And as I'll show you over here, we probably don't do get to the depths that we think we um, have achieved and done the job that we'd like to have done either. So this is the type of energy that we need to invest into the ground to, to, to try and get rid of that compaction. I'd like to have these in a little bit deeper, but the amount of trash that's in the soil, I can't actually get it to clear the, the frame. And interestingly enough, of the 100 plus horsepower on this tractor, 30% of its energy is actually being wasted in terms of rolling resistance. That's the tractor's tyre running over soft ground, and then the, the energy spent in relieving that compaction of the ripper tines behind the tyre. So at the end of the day, it's a gross waste of energy to be cultivating country just to be running over it and that's that's the philosophy behind controlled traffic leaving a traffic zone where it's easy for the tractor to work that nice hard running surface that's where we make bitumen roads as you can see here now this is where the the, the ripper has gone through we've got uh, a much greater depth of um, loose soil than what we had previously before we have to have our tines spaced out at a reasonable distance to make this amount of trash to flow th through the implement. But what we end up with in the situation is a bit of a sawtooth effect where we're getting you know, nice loose dirt and then compacted, loose dirt, compacted. Uh, we, we have got relatively good fracturing of these sides, but again, we're still going to be left with a, a bridge of, of hard soil. So in a situation like this, we then probably have to come back in and, and cross rip, so a cross rip go, going at 90 degrees just to try and fracture up those chunks. So once I've done that big renovation, from there on if we can use precision controlled traffic, uh, we will not need to invest anywhere near that amount of energy next time.